Hi guys, the entire reason Rishi Sunak is Prime Minister and Jeremy Hunt is Chancellor is because of the disaster Liz Truss and Kwasi Kwarteng inflicted upon the economy. The market reacted negatively, to put it mildly, to £45 billion in unfunded tax cuts. Economic policies driven by zealots from Tufton Street who were advising both Truss and Kwarteng at the time. Jeremy Hunt was brought in to steady the ship. This is a fact. This is reality. However, when the Chancellor appeared on the BBC on Thursday morning, he was trying to ignore reality, as if what happened to the economy was unrelated to Liz Truss and her economic illiteracy. Why is he doing this? People will be well aware of the reality of where your Conservative government has taken them in terms of their household budgets. They will be looking at mortgages, which remain stubbornly high because of what a, a former Conservative Prime Minister did. They'll be looking at the reality of inflation that may be coming down now, but the living cost of that remains higher. That happened under your administration. Well, Charlie, I really would challenge you, and I know the BBC is fiercely impartial, I would really challenge you on making statements like you've just said, because if the higher mortgage rates were as a result of Liz Truss, why is it that living standards have fallen further in Germany or Austria or Sweden? The reason why we've had this pressure, the reason why we had 11% inflation and interest rates had to go up was because of Putin's invasion of Ukraine okay, Mr. Hans, I'm and gonna, a global um, For the pandemic. first time, I'm going to interrupt you there because you, you challenged what we were saying there. Are you suggesting there was and is no connection between what Liz Truss did as Prime Minister and you took over as Chancellor in her time, are you suggesting there is no connection between that and the interest rates that people are now or will be paying when their fixed rates end? Well, I reversed the decisions that she took and that's why I think you can see the reason that interest rates went up was because of global factors. I think most people understand that. Of course, the Labour Party would like to uh, say that it's something that a Conservative government did. Of course the Conservative government did it. Look, like, you, you were brought in to fix the problem. You were brought in to fight the fire. That's reality. He's trying to sell this alternative to reality that it's nothing to do with Liz Truss. It's all down to global factors. The fact that you are in your position is because Kwasi Kwarteng tried to push through unfunded tax cuts. This is insane. Now, notice at the beginning of the interview, he said, well, I believe that the BBC is impartial. These are weasel words. This is him trying to suggest that, of course, that the BBC is not impartial and is picking a side. And, of course, towards the end of the interview, at the end of this clip, he, sa he started talking about the Labour Party. The BBC reporter never mentioned the Labour Party. He mentioned Liz Truss. But the Conservatives know that Liz Truss is a problem. She has been a problem since... Rishi Sunak took over. The, the reason Rishi Sunak is in, pos, in his position is because Liz Truss messed up. But they can't admit that because then they would have to admit that, well, you know, conservatives are bad for the economy. Like, we can go back further than Liz Truss. We can go back to George Osborne when uh, he implemented austerity. That's when the real rot began. That's when the real problem started. Liz Truss put booster rockets under it. But the fact that Jeremy Hunt is trying to deny reality here, of course, is electoral game playing. What he's trying to suggest is, no, 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 the reason you're in a cost of living crisis is not because of Liz Truss or because of austerity or 14 years of Tory rule. No, it's because of global factors. And ignore the Labour Party or ignore journalists when they suggest otherwise. Just think of anyone who doesn't believe that. Ask yourself, why is Jeremy Hunt and not Kwasi Kwarteng Chancellor today? I really wish somebody would ask Jeremy Hunt, Jeremy, why, why are you Chancellor and not Kwasi Kwarteng? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.